Good morning, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I say good morning because it's quite literally 9.20 in the morning on a Friday and I just got a delivery, which I wasn't expecting. So this is a very impromptu video, but I wanted to try everything on. I've got a parcel from Pretty Little Thing. Every now and then they do reach out and ask if some influencers want to receive some clothing. No obligations to post, which I'm very grateful for and very lucky. So this time I did send through some selects because I was curious. I'm curious whether this stuff is going to look how it did online. I'm very picky with what I choose on Pretty Little Thing because it's a very affordable website and sometimes that shows. So I'm very picky and I try to choose things that look more expensive than they are. So I'm really curious to see whether this stuff actually looks how it did online and if it looks good quality and if it's worth it. So I just thought we'd sit down and unbox everything and try it all on today. I've just ripped open the bag and I'm seeing a lot of colour, which I'm very excited about. We've got some shoes too. I'm really trying to choose more colourful items for the spring and summertime. So I'm very curious about all of this. But let's get started with the first outfit. I might just put it on and then we'll chat about it. Right off the bat, I am impressed. Genuinely, this is so beautiful. I got this two-piece set. They did come separately so you could choose different sizes, which I always appreciate. I got the top in a size eight and the skirt in a size six. The skirt's a tiny bit tight, but not too bad. And it does say it's meant to be a micro low-rise skirt. However, I'm wearing it high-rise, so I'm not mad about that. You obviously could pull it down, but then I don't think it would be It'd probably be a funny length on me anyway. But this is what it looks like. I love the colorway, all the blues and like purples and yellows. And it's like a pleece material and it's kind of satiny. And then it's also got ruching down the side right here. And it's one shoulder, obviously. This is so nice. I'm really, really impressed by this. This would be so nice. I'm actually going out for an afternoon lunch tomorrow. If the sun comes out, well, I'll go either way. But if the sun comes out, this would be such like a nice afternoon cocktail outfit. I love how you could obviously wear them separately as well. That's something I really want to do this summer is like, just add a colorful piece and then wear something like plainer on top or plainer on bottom. Just play around with color a little bit. And if you really wanted to go all the way, you could do like a pair of colored heels that matches one of the colors in this. The names are the Blueprint Please One Shoulder Top and the Blueprint Please Low Rise Micro Mini Skirt. I feel like I'm gonna rate this first outfit like a 10 out of 10. I'm really impressed. It doesn't feel like the most expensive material in the world, obviously, but like I wanted, it kind of looks it. Don't you think? Hmm. Not too sure about this one. It's coming up quite pale yellow in the camera. It's not kind of the yellow that I wanted. I would have wanted it to look like it does in the camera, but it's more yellow in person. So I'm not loving the color. Why I chose yellow, I don't know, because it's definitely not my color, but it just looks really pretty on the model. I'll show the photo right here. And I really do like uncovering my boobs because I don't know if you can see my nips through it. Let me check. It's not too bad. I'll keep covering just in case. Um, I love the sleeves. Like, how gorgeous is that? Why do I keep saying gorgeous in this video? I give myself the ick every time I say it, but it keeps coming out my mouth. I love the sleeves. Really, really pretty. I love how it looks in the camera. Maybe if I wash it, then it might fade a little bit because I actually really love this. And it like ties up in the middle. It's very low, but obviously you can kind of like move it in so it's not so booby or you can move it out. I don't know, whatever your preference is. This is what the back looks like. But yeah, I just thought again for spring and summer, this would be such a cute little pop of color and I love the material. Really nice. Good quality too. Like this is a nice top. I'm just not sure about the color. This one is called the Lemon Extreme Frill Tie Front Flare Sleeve Blouse. And I got this one in a size eight. I almost forgot to rate this one. I would give this one maybe like a six and a half out of 10, I reckon. Yeah. Next I chose this asymmetric cow neck top. It's got like a little split on the side and like the name suggests, it is asymmetric down the bottom. It's also double layered over your boots, which is great because obviously it's a white top. So if it was just this kind of sheer material down here, you would definitely see your nymphs, which you don't want. So I love this. I'm impressed. I really, really like this. This is very me. It's a white top, but you can just wear it with like a pair of jeans or a cute skirt like I am now, like a colorful skirt. Just like a cute little basic top to have for summer. I really like this. It came in a bunch of colors too, but of course I went for the white. This one is called the White Burnout Mesh Asymmetric Asymmetric Hem Cowl Neck Top. And I got this one in a size eight. Obviously, if I didn't have big fake boobies, it would be more of a cowl neck. However, I don't really mind how this sits. I think it looks nice. I'm happy with this. This gets mm, eight and a half out of 10. I love this next top. Oh, that's my one complaint is if you don't have this little flippy flip, over there, you're gonna see. So do not raise your arms 
you talk around like this. But I love this. I was so close to buying the white. I really wanted the white, but I do not need any more white long sleeve tops. So I got the baby blue and I love it. Look how cute this is. It did come in a bunch of colors. So if you don't like the blue, I can't remember what other colors they had. They had quite a lot, but I really liked this light blue. I thought it was really cute. The sleeves have a little bit of a bell sleeve. It also has like an asymmetric little hemline down here. So pretty. I love, and I love like the sheer material as well. It's nice and lightweight. So I feel like I could get away with wearing this in spring and summer. I'm really impressed with this. This one is called the Steel Blue Burnout Mesh Bardo Long Sleeve Top. And I got this one in a size eight. What would I rate it? Nine out of 10, honestly. Yeah, nine out of 10. I don't know if you guys could see in the last clip, but there was a little bit of the stitching sticking out right here. So I just need to cut that off, but honestly, not too bad. I think once I cut it off, that'll be fine. It's not going to ruin it or anything. But apart from that, the quality is really nice and I'm impressed with this. But let's move on to the next one. Oh my God, this next one. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I did have Halloween in mind, but there was another color. There was a red one. Oh God. And I really wanted the red. The red looks nicer, but they only have this in my size. Oh no, it's going to ruin my makeup. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. I don't know. I need to look in the mirror. Hold on. Uh, doesn't really fit right. Poo. Needs to be a little tighter around here. But yeah, I did have Halloween in mind. I didn't even know if I'm doing anything, but I thought this with like a pair of black boots or a pair of black heels I don't know I just saw it and thought maybe I could you know keep this in the wardrobe in case I do happen to do anything on Halloween and need a little outfit because it's giving witch and I like the little frills but yeah it just doesn't fit me quite right oh I really like these yeah not sure I don't know let me know what you guys think this one is called the black lace drape detail bodycon dress I got this one in a size six it doesn't fit me quite how I would want it to I think and I'm not sure about the bottom I don't know if you can see that like the drapes down here it's definitely gonna be Halloween though like for a Halloween outfit yes but if you were to buy this and wear it as a normal dress I definitely don't think I would like it so for Halloween I'd probably rate it like 8 out of 10 and then if it was just like a normal dress you're gonna wear out for me honestly this would be like a 5 or 4 yeah, not sure. Let's move on. Next, I picked up this top because I thought it was really cute. I liked the color. I really love blue, if you couldn't tell in this video. I feel like that's my color of choice. And I saw this and think it looked really cute with like all the butterflies. It also has a low back, which is kind of annoying because I feel like it is slightly sheer. So I'd probably prefer to wear a bra or something underneath it, but you kind of can't because it's a low back. For that reason, I just don't know if I'm going to reach for it. So obviously, you don't want to be in the right lighting, the wrong lighting, or the right lighting for some people, um, you're going to see underneath. And you could do nipple covers. I feel like they never work for me though. They just look more obvious and draw more attention. So I'm not really sure what I would do. Maybe like a strapless, like sticky bra or something, but I just don't see myself going to that effort. So for that reason, I'll probably rate this like a seven out of 10 because I do really like it. And I just thought this was like a pair of like chill baggy jeans and a pair of sneakers like that kind of vibe. But yeah, I don't know if I'll be reaching for it just purely because in some lighting, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit too sheer. So yeah, seven out of 10 for this one. This one's called the Blue Printed Burnout Mesh Scoop Back Crop Top. And I got this in a size eight. I could have read the description and seen that it said sheer. I can't remember if it did say that. It doesn't say that in the name of it though. So I don't think I knew that it was going to be like a sheerish material or maybe it's not supposed to be, I don't know. Nothing makes me happier than a fresh pair of pajamas. I love these. They're like a satin material and they are really nice and soft. I blue again. Am I okay? Not mad about it though. I've got like black buttons and it's got like black. Hmm. <laughs> Brain says no to that word, whatever I'm trying to look for. I don't know, lining. I don't know. These are what the shorts look like. I'm so happy! I'm literally gonna wear these tonight. Oh, like a comfy, silky pair of pajamas. Perfect for summer because they're short. No complaints, absolutely no complaints. I believe this came with pink, I wanna say. I could be wrong. This is really, really comfy and soft. I'm very impressed. I've actually had uh, Pretty Little Things silk pajamas before and I wore them to death. So now I have a new pair. These are called the Navy Jacquard Stripe Contrast Piping Contrast Stitching. Black contrast stitching is what I was looking to say before. PJ's short set. And I got this one in a size small. I've got a little pocket here. 
I always put my phone in there when I'm walking around the house. Love, honestly, 10 out of 10. I've paid you down to show you the next piece because the next item that I chose was a skirt. And this is something a little bit different for me, but I thought it was so pretty. I love it. So it's a maxi skirt and then it ties up around your waist. It's got lace trimming here and then lace trimming around the bottom as well. And like a little bit of ruching. So nice. And I like that it's adjustable because you can wear it low rise if you want with like a long line top or you can wear it high rise. Very adjustable, super lightweight, really pretty for summer. Oh my god, it's so cute. Really nice quality. I feel like it's not too sheer. I'm wearing dark underwear right now and I don't think you can see them too bad. But I feel like if it's going to be something you wear to the beach, like you could wear this with like a bikini top or something, it doesn't really matter. Oh my god. I'm really happy I picked this up. Something very different, not something I would normally go for. But she's 28 now, so she's wearing maxi skirts. And I love it. This one is called the Cotton Poplin Lace Waistband Maxi Skirt. And I got this one in a size 6. I would rate this 9.5 out of 10, I reckon. Next, I picked up this bustier and I'm really sad because I don't think I could wear it. It's a little bit sheer, but look how cute it looks with this skirt. It's like a sheer material and it's got roses all over it. It's so pretty, but I just... It's too sheer over the nipples and I don't think I could wear a bra underneath so I don't think I can wear this which I'm so sad about because this is so pretty. It's like a bustier, it's got lacing down the middle which isn't adjustable. There's no part where you can untie it and tie it up a bit tighter because if I could do that I might have been able to wear it but yeah. I love like the lace trimming as well. It's so cute. It just doesn't work for me. I think if I had smaller boobies it would work and if I didn't care about it being pretty sheer up top but dang oh look how cute that is i'm sad this one is called the oh that's not the name the pink floral chiffon boned lace up detail corset and i got this one in a size eight it's got like a zip up the back as well look how pretty that is damn yeah i wish i could adjust i feel like if i could adjust this part the lacing then I probably would wear it because it's just not it's not giving the support I want and then also it's sheer so I'm gonna rate this one like a probably like a 7 out of 10 because I think for the right person this would be really cute I couldn't go the whole haul without ordering something long sleeve and white so I got this because I thought again it's just gonna be nice and versatile even for summer because obviously it's sheer it's gonna be lightweight I like how it has like the splits details down here but this with anything like low rise like low rise jeans or a low rise skirt i guess in the summertime would just be really nice really cute basic to have this one is called the white burnout mesh long sleeve split hem long top in a size eight and i'm wearing it with another one of the micro mini skirts let me just tuck this up so you can see i got it in this color variation because i thought this would be really pretty and again i'm just trying to dive into some color and with a plain white top maybe not this one because this one is a little bit too long lined i don't know um but with like a plain top and then a colorful skirt, you could do a colorful bag to match or colorful heels. Just really fun to play with. And I needed more things like this in my wardrobe. I feel like everything I buy is quite boring. So I'm trying to dive into color, like I've said a million times in this video. And I thought this skirt would be perfect. So now I've got two colorful skirts. I'm very pleased. And I like the color variation of this. And I like the pattern. The, the, what's it called again? Please, the please material I think is really pretty and it's like satiny. Oh my god, I love I love that bright orange at the back. 10 out of 10, again. I love this. I want these in like a bunch of different colours. Just have fun with them in the summertime. So cute. This is called the multi multi watercolour, watercolour prints. That's what it is. Um prints please micro mini skirt, and I got this one again in a size six. And the last thing that I have to show you today is a pair of heels. I actually really do need just like more pairs of black heels. I did, I've got a pair, but they're lacy around the ankle and there's just something about ankle laces that annoy me. I feel like I'm adjusting the whole time. They feel like they're falling down. They're just annoying. I don't want to be dealing with it. So I saw these. How gorgeous are these? I love. I love a pointed heel. I love that they have an ankle strap, but they're like a buckle. So cool. And then they are a stiletto, but I feel like they're going to be comfortable because they do have that ankle support. So cute. Just another pretty basic pair of black heels because honestly, you can never have enough. Pretty Little Thing have so many heels. Like I always do want to dive in and buy colorful heels, but I feel like until I have a good amount of staple basics, I'm going to stick 
to that. Maybe I can get some colored heels next. But yeah, I got these because I just thought they would be nice to wear. A pair of black heels. And that is everything that I have to show you from Pretty Little Thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And oh, what would I rate these? Honestly, like 10 out of 10. You can't go wrong. It's a nice pair of black heels. I haven't tried them on yet. Whether they're comfortable, I don't know. But your girl's gotten pretty good at walking in heels and I can pretty much deal with it all night. So 10 out of 10 for these. But that's everything that I have to show you. Thank you so much, Pretty Little Thing, for sending all of this stuff out. It'll all be linked down below. Again, this isn't sponsored, but if you did like anything from this video, it's going to be linked down below. And yeah, honestly... I'd recommend Pretty Little Thing. I always take a little extra time looking at each item that I'm choosing. I use the little zoom in option just to like have a good look and make sure it looks like it's going to be nice quality. I feel like that's worth doing for a site like this so you're not receiving things that just do not look good quality. You know, unless you're into that. I don't know. But yeah, I just take a little extra time looking into it. And I feel like I chose really well. And I'm really excited to start wearing all of these items. Especially those pajamas tonight. I can't wait to wear those. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you would like to. And I hope you enjoyed. And I also hope you have an amazing weekend. It's Friday for me today. I'm going to... Theo. It's Friday for me today. I'm going to edit this video and get it out tomorrow. So it's going to be Saturday in Australia. And then Friday in a lot of other places too. So I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. And I'll see you in my next video.